So welcome to some games I've been playing recently. Some games I've been putting off and I'm like, this is the time to do them. It's after Christmas. I have a little bit of time before even bigger releases come out in the middle of February. So I'll ask you guys before I get started here, what have you been playing in this time? Some backlog, some new games. Let me know down below. Get some other people some great ideas of some video games to play. Now, I'm gonna start off with something that is a little bit different. And the reason why is that me and Kim played Pokemon Sword and Shield. And as much as we enjoyed the game, we kind of thought that's it for us with Pokemon. We're kind of done. We like the world. We like everything about it. It's a lot of fun, but a little simplistic for us. And we like Shimagami Tensei. We kind of moved on to that and we've really embraced that a lot more. And we're not knocking anyone that likes Pokemon out there. Not at all. But I thought I was done for my own personal training adventures. I thought, that's it. But then I started looking at the brand new game, Pokemon Legend Arceus. It is Arceus. I haven't seen any reviews. I haven't watched anything. Or is it Arceus? I mean, I haven't checked up on that. So I'll just call it Arceus for now. I saw the game and I thought, this looks really interesting. An open world style of game. And you can just sneak around. And I kind of like the art style. And I thought, let's get in and try it out. And you know what? There's a lot I like about it. Before we get into it, there's a lot I like about it. I like being able to sneak around. The way you capture Pokemon, it's a lot of fun. It's obviously like past games, but for some reason it's a lot easier to capture Pokemon, and that's the one thing I like about it. Um, the graphics, the graphics, I like the style of graphics. I love the anime style of graphics, but the great game for me was a little bit simplistic in its overall graphical look. And I've seen a lot of great games come out on the Nintendo Switch, so it's not a limitation of the system. I think they pulled back a little bit. The frame rate is what it is. I think they're really trying to do that open world style of game, like a Breath of the Wild, and there's only so much you can push the Switch. And so I think they had to kind of lower the graphics a little bit and make them a little bit more simplified. And I think that is a detriment to the game. And I think it kind of hurts the game in a little bit of a ways in that way. So I, unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of the graphics of this game. I really like the gameplay. I think the storyline is interesting that you come from a different world. You're kind of thrown in to this one and you have to kind of figure out your way around it all and stuff like that, which is collecting Pokemon and collecting and updating your Pokedex. That's what the game is about. That's what all Pokemon games are, but I kind of enjoyed the storyline. I like your characters. I like the starting Pokemon that you get, and I like the Pokemon in general. I, I enjoy battling other trainers. It's a lot of fun, and so I've gone in, I tried it out. I can say that I like the game, but I don't love it. And I think that's probably the best I can say. If I was to rate it, and I, I've only played it for a little bit of time, really. I can only rate it, I would say it's like a 7 out of 10 game. For me personally, what do you guys think of the new Pokemon game? How many hours have you put into it? Is it worth it? Is it fun for the long run that you play it for? I can see it being a bit more fun for sure. It's a long game. There's a lot you can do in there. That's what I definitely have heard from some close friends. So uh, what do you guys think of that game? Now this game kind of came out of nowhere and I didn't really even realize it was coming out and that is for Uncharted Legacy of Thieves, the PS5 collection. So what it is is it's Uncharted The Lost Legacy right here and Uncharted A Thief's Tale right here, Uncharted 4. And they're both together on the PS5, updated graphics and textures and frame rates. And how is it again? You know, it was really funny. I started the game up and I'm sitting there and I'm like, I can't believe it came out in 2016. Like it's already like six years ago already. I remember I remember waiting for Uncharted 4 to come out, like so many of you. I went, oh my God, it's gonna come out and it finally came out and it was absolutely incredible. And I, the one thing I wanna say about the Uncharted series is it is honestly like Raiders of the Lost Ark in its storyline and its adventure and some of the locales it takes you to. I love Uncharted, I really do. I, I have often said that it realistically is a monkey simulation style of game. And you'll be like, what? What are you talking about? Honestly, a lot of the time, you're just going from ledge to ledge to ledge, jumping from here, turning around, jumping to there, 
climbing up here, jumping over here, and then you do a, a few quick shots, you know, a little bit of a combat there, and then you're doing the jumping again uh, through absolutely ridiculous buildings and uh, settings. But it's so much fun. But that's something I've always laughed about, that the game really feels like a, a monkey simulation uh, style of game. And it's, it's the funny thing I do have to say about it. But that being said, it is so much fun to play Uncharted, and especially Uncharted 4. The locations, as I say, you go to, the exploration that you do, it's fun, it's fun. Bit of rinse and repeat, bit of rinse and repeat, but it is a fun rinse and repeat. And the action and the shooting that you get into with the game, second to none, and it's awesome. And you know what? I remember picking up Uncharted, the Lost Legacy and thing. I don't know, man. Is it just like, you know, cashing in on the other game? Or are they just gonna reuse the same assets? No, it's a really good game into its own right. I did a review back in the day for both of these games. So you can check that out. And I liked both of them quite a lot. And I'm looking forward to the future of the Uncharted series. But is it worth getting on PS5? I would say this, if you haven't played either of these games, you have a PS5, absolutely go and get it. I, I was playing it again going, I can't believe some of these graphics. I thought they were good then. But now, seeing what they've done with the frame rates and some of the textures that they've added, very nice looking stuff. I mean, I was running around at times going, man, I could sit and absolutely go through this entire game again. And I think I might because it is that much fun and you get suckered into it, into the storylines again, into the action. And Uncharted on the PS5, High recommendation. I think it's a really, really uh, good game and one that's absolutely taken me a little bit back. I, I, it's funny that Uncharted is all of a sudden come back on the PS5, but it's not the next one. This one's good. I'm looking forward to checking out the movie too. Now, I've talked about a few games here that I thought were pretty good. They're not bad, right? Pretty good stuff. The next game I'm going to talk about is a game I had no expectations about. I had no idea about this game. And it's a game I absolutely love. It's a game I absolutely love. A game, I'm going to use a word for it, magical. It's absolutely magical. And I had no idea about it. I like to talk to friends of mine about some games they're playing, some stuff they're into. And one of my friends said, hey, have you played Death's Door? And I'm like, Death's Door? What's that? He's like, you got Game Pass, right? I'm like, yeah. He goes, try it out. Just try it out. And I was like, Okay, so late one night, I put this on and I think this did me some favors because it created an amazing atmosphere. And I'm like, what is Death's Door? I, I didn't read about it. I didn't see anything about it. I just turned it on and I started to play it. And I'm like, it's, isn't it funny with some games? You start playing them and you're like, this game is great. Right from the five, first second you play it. And I'm like, I'm playing as a crow. And I'm like, okay, and like the art style's good. The control feels good, and I'm running around, and I'm like, okay, wait, I've got a sword. I've got a dash. Okay, I can go up and uh, open things up. I'm like, what is this? And then the next thing is, you're going to collect souls. I'm like, oh, that, that's your job in the game. You collect souls, and I'm like, and you can trade those in to get other things. I'm like, okay, just, just go with it. Just go with it. And so I got to say... I like the world setting, the world building that they've done. It's an overhead style of action game, kind of like Zelda. It's given me major Zelda vibes. And so I start going off, I go into the first world and I'm like, okay, cool. I hit this little block and it opens up another little level and I'm like, okay. And it just feels really nice. And it eases you into the game really nice. The tutorials are really good. It doesn't like drive you insane right to begin with. It's got beautiful flow. And I'm there and I'm taking it all in and it's magical. It really is magical. And I'm like, I really like this game. And then the enemies show up and I'm, you know, striking them down with my sword. I'm like, I'm really enjoying this. And it feels really, really natural. And then I'm going around, I'm collecting certain things. I'm getting to bosses and I'm fighting these bosses and they're really great looking. The levels are good. The music is good. I'm like, this is working for me. And then all of a sudden, I, I just can't stop playing the game. I just can't stop playing the game. I'm like, oh my God, and time is going on in the night as I'm playing this, and I'm like, I don't care. I, it was one of those games where all of a sudden time doesn't matter. You've had that experience so many times, right? Where you play a game and all of a sudden time, it's gone. You're just in this experience and you're really enjoying it. And I, I'm gonna do something here, and I never usually do this uh, in the show. I'm just gonna let a little bit of the gameplay play 
of my game that I was playing. So you can see what I was experiencing and, and the feeling it kind of gives you. It's a beautiful little action game and one that I didn't expect to like or even know what it was going in. And it's one of those ones I'm like, physical copy, physical copy. And I always say that because it's on Game Pass right now and it's like, and then one day it won't be on Game Pass and it'll disappear. And I'm gonna be like, oh my God, whatever happened to that game? I always like to have a physical copy so I can try it again later on and remember it and say it exists. It's actually here. It's sitting here in these things, you know. I like physical copies that way, but have any of you guys played Death's Door? What, oh my God, and you know I hate to say this term, what a beautiful hidden gem of a game. What a beautiful little magical adventure. They put so much heart into it that I couldn't believe it. I was like, they really cared about this game experience. And so I played, you know, the big game from Nintendo, the big game from PlayStation. And then I played this little indie game that was so much more of an experience than both of those games. It just offered so much more. It felt there was more heart in there. And I'm, hey, I'm not knocking Uncharted and uh, Pokemon, but I gotta say that I got moved a lot more with this game and there was just something about it. There's something where everything came together perfectly fine. So guys, those are some games that I've been playing. I, obviously Death Store was the big surprise of this month and there's a few big games coming out. I'm gonna be trying out, I'll be talking about very soon. But let me know down below, what have you been playing recently? So anyways guys, until next time.